Yi Song is one of the best archer commanders in the whole game, and the best part about it is you unlock him before Season of Conquest. In today's video, I'll be going over everything you need to know about Yi Song to get the most value you can from him. If you have an Yi Song, you're going to get so much value from this video. Let's start off by saying if you don't have an Yi Song, he is probably one of the best commanders to invest in regardless of your troop type, because he is just that good. If you haven't seen Yi Song, you're like, where do I get Yi Song? AVK1, so the first kingdom versus kingdom that you are in, you will have access to an Isong. Now, if you don't know what kingdoms versus kingdom is, then you haven't played the game long enough and just wait and eventually it will come around. Um, also, another way to get Isong, there's two more ways that I know of. First of all, the daily special offer, two or three weeks after he releases, you can purchase him in this bundle. You can see here. It is five bucks, five bucks US a day to get three, three chests that give you some Isong heads. Also, inside of your city, once you get to Season of Conquest, inside of the trading posts for the Lucerne Scrolls, the Archer chests, Archer Commander re-release chests will give you another chance of getting an Isong. All right, so I really do recommend Isong for any free-to-play players, low spenders, even whales, especially really early game. Even in Season of Conquest, he's great. I think that he is a must-max commander, so if you're in early game, unless you're a crazy person and you're going to go straight to Season of Conquest and invest no gold heads in anything else, Esong's a must-max. I've gotten so much value from my Esong. Uh, Freaking, you can gather with Esong if you need. I'm not saying you should, but you can gather with him. First, he's a garrison commander, so it's a, just a great way to just put him on your city wall just to give you that added confidence if you just maybe you might get rallied. You at least have something there to slightly defend you. Also. He just has such high skill damage. Before you max him, this is a 1,500 damage factor to 5 enemies in a fan-shaped area. His second skill is a 10% chance to grant 100 extra rage and 100% increased attack for archer units for the next 3 seconds. His third skill is just a garrison watchtower attack banner, so that's nothing amazing. And his fourth skill is 50% increased skill damage, which is great. And then his final skill changes his damage factor from 1,400 to 1,700 in a circle AoE. Now, you may be wondering, why is this amazing? Well, first of all, this is like the best early game commander ever. He has 1,700 damage factor, which is more than most Season of Conquest commanders have. Like Nebuchadnezzar, 1,500 to 5 targets, doesn't even deal 1,700. and He came out two years after Esong released. Um, Gilgamesh, another example, 1,500 to one target. Cyrus, 1,400 to one target. You can see YSG's damage factor is insane. Now, if you're going to invest in Esong, I recommend maxing the first two skills, skipping the third skill, and maxing the final skill. And then I recommend just fully maxing him completely. Because once you get that circle AoE, you can do so much with him. You can AoE Barb Farm, which I have a video of. The card's up in the top. Uh, AoE Barb Farming gives so much value. He's going to hit more targets with his AoE. He's got more damage factor once you max him. It's just all around amazing. So a max E Song is 100% worth every single gold head. No doubt about it. There really aren't many substitutes to E Song. So I do recommend maxing him. Now formations for E Song real quick. We're looking at Arch Formation I think. Or Hollow Square for the tankiness. I don't think he needs the Wedge Formation. I just have it on because he's not a primary commander. But the Wedge Formation is more skill damage. And we know, as I've said previously, stats in Rise of Kingdoms are weakened depending on how many stats you have. So if I have more skill damage, my bonuses from that 5% skill damage are actually less than what I would have if I had 0% skill damage and I got that 5%. So that's why I think he actually is quite good with the Hollow Square or with the Arch Formation. Just because he doesn't have normal attack bonuses, nor does he have like, all damage taken reduction, so those two are probably his best formations. Now, if we're looking at pairs for Isong, KVK1, alright, what I recommend is if you're going pure archers, if you're a whale, YSG El Cid or YSG Thutmaris, I have videos for both of these commanders who will be up on the end screen of this video. So YSG El Cid and YSG Thutmaris, those are the two best marchers for KVK1 and 2 for archers in my opinion. They're just so good together, especially Thutmos. I think Thutmos is better than El Cid. So if you're going to invest in one of these two commanders, you're a whale, only if you're a whale, then I say go for Thutmos. Now, past, if you're a free-to-play player, you can also do what I ran till KVK 
Still season of conquest. I use this. I used YSG Herman. You can see I've got like 10 million kills, no, 5 million kills on my Herman. And I've got like 5 million on my Kusunoki as well. 3 million. So you can decide between those two commanders which ones you prefer more. I personally preferred Herman because I think YSG already had enough AoE. And I ran a Herman primary. But you can run Kusunoki for more AoE. And also, um, he gets rid of a bunch of debuffs and stuff. So that's really all up to you. He also has other damage factor. So Kusunoki is another fairly glass cannon commander. It's the only thing I don't really like about him. I think Herman is just that tad bit more tanky. Like he's got march speed and he's got attack. Uh, he's also got normal damage and just, I don't know. I felt like my Herman was just doing a bit better. Could be because of the silence. Um, but that's up, for you. that's up to you, whichever one you prefer. Uh, Kira is an option. I don't really know much about Kira. I've never used her in the open field. Uh, I feel like she could be viable, but by the time you have a max Kira, there's no point bothering because you're probably inside Seasonal Conquest anyways. So at that point, Kira is just no longer as good. And Emotep's the other epic ultra commander. Uh, I don't really know what Emotep does, in my opinion. I think he's more of a debuffing march. So if you're running like a bunch of infantry and cab marches and you've got YSG and nothing else to pray him with, Emotep, just to be like a support march, is actually pretty good. He's got fairly high stats, and he has some skill damage reduction and stuff. So I think it's pretty good to use an Emotep if you're going for a debuffing march. Now, if you're reaching Season 3 and you're a whale and you're like, who do I put YSG with? I'm going to say, first off, don't do Tamiris. She's not good with YSG, just because she doesn't really want to gain a lot of rage. But KVK Season 3, Edward is a beast. So if you have an Edward and you've maxed him already, or you're whaling out and you're going to max Edward to rally, or like you're needed to rally for the kingdom, then an Edward YSG is actually very good. I don't know if it's good for rallying. I think Tamaris is probably better in that situation. But on the open field, Edward YSG is good. Edward needs rage, especially since he makes himself lose rage, which is not great. But if you're using Edward Season 3, he's just really good. So that's an option. He's got a bunch of health and other stats, and he's a bit tanky. So Edward YSG is quite good for like KVK Season 3. All right, now if you're not looking for a march that has a two archer commanders and you're just thinking I need an infantry march and I have an Esong, who do I put him with? Well, tried and true combo, everyone's spoken about it before. Alexander the Great and Esong, great combo. Um, because Esong's not really commander specific for the troop type. Like he obviously gives a bonus to archer commanders. He just he can still work with any infantry commander. So Alexander the Great is also not very troop specific, so he doesn't need a second infantry commander to be there to give him the extra stats. So that's why I think he's fine with Isong. Alexander the Great plus Isong is perfectly fine. People also do consider for a city garrison, just as a side note, Charles Martel and Isong, they say this is a good march just to put on your city wall if you're like about to be rallied or something. Richard with Isong is the best KVK gar KVK1 garrison in my opinion, so if you have that, uh, you can consider that as well. If you're looking for a cavalry march in early KVKs, I don't really think Isong fits with any other commanders. Like, I mean, he can go with Khan, I guess, as like a super glass cannon march, or Saladin Isong, but I don't really think there's there's a point in doing that. I don't think it's that effective, especially since Minamoto and Cow Cow is probably just better than a Minamoto and Isong. Granted, I haven't really tested around with that. I have messed around with a few of those infantry marches that I spoke around before, spoke about before. Uh, leadership commanders you compare with Isong, Mehmed. Mehmed actually works quite well with Isong, and I think Caesar's all right with Isong. So if you have either of those commanders maxed, you can consider them. Ethel Flit, I don't really say you should use him, use her with Isong. Now that you've reached Season of Conquest, you unlock the museum, and Isong has a pretty, pretty good buff in here: 20% archer defense, which he really needs, and 5% skill damage. Skill damage is redundant, I don't think it's that big of a change, but that defense is actually really, really good. Isong doesn't have any defense usually, and now you've got 20% defense, 10% if it's level 1, but to get a level 2 relic's not too, dif not too difficult. So 20% archer defense is extremely good, and I think you should definitely get this. It's still usable without it, but if you have the option to get this, just get it. It's just great stats for Isong. Now you've reached Season of Conquest, I do highly recommend moving away from a march that's double troop type like an Alex Isong. I think this is the point where you consider investing in e commanders specific to Isong. So first pair you could consider is a Boudicca Isong. I used this extensively in one KVK and my Boudicca got like seven and a half million of her 15 million kills in that one KVK. 
So Boudicca Isong is a great march. It's if you only want one archer march, it's the best archer march just to get the most value, especially if you already have a max Isong. Another option is Henry Isong, something I personally use. I love my Henry. I think he's just such a good commander. He's so tanky. He's just a great commander to put a glass cannon behind. He's got so much defense. He takes reduced normal attack damage when you get his final upgrade. And he's just taking reduced skill damage on his active skill as well. And his active skill damage is extremely high. So you put that with Esong's increased skill damage, I think it's a really deadly combo and something I do highly recommend. So if you already have a Boudicca, like a Boudicca Artemisia or something like that, uh, Henry Esong's great. Now, if you're looking for a few older combos and you're thinking, I want to put my Henry with like a Gilgamesh for rally, so you're always rallying and you've already got Boudicca Artemisia. Nebuchadnezzar and Esong. Uh, I don't recommend investing in Nebuchadnezzar at the moment, but if you already have a Nebuchadnezzar maxed, then you can consider it. If you're wondering why I don't like investing in Nebu, there's a link in the description to the video where I speak about that. Now, if you want to dig even deeper, Ramsey's Isong, tried and true, was the best combo when it first came out. This is an option you can use. Ramsey's is fairly tanky, fairly fast. The only thing is Ramsey's has kind of fallen off since the day of his release and also is a commander I don't really recommend investing in. Finally, equipment for Isong is pretty much the same as every Archer Commander. Like, you can just get the Dragon Breath set or the or the Revival set and you'll be fine. And accessories, I think Horn is not needed with Isong. So if you've got a Commander that has an Isong, don't use the Horn. Use Ring of Doom plus any other accessory. I personally recommend either like Dagger or, not Vengeance, like Kurok's War Drums because that's like a fairly good buffing march. Seth's Call's kind of rubbish and the Coin's kind of rubbish, so just don't touch those. Finally, Isong pairs, Isong talents if you're thinking of using a max Isong. Uh, this is the best tree in my opinion. He's already got the Rage Gen, so you probably don't need Feral Nature. If you do want a Feral Nature tree, you can go with it. So Feral Nature tree is really just you max Feral Nature. Something like this. Not that. So you can just max the Feral Nature talent. And then I recommend getting the health over here. And possibly going down here, because this is all damage. And maybe, I reckon you just get this. This is a good talent here, the Phoenix Tower Arrows. These are probably Isong's best. There's Isong's second best talent tree, in my opinion. So if you want the Rage Gen, you go with this tree. If you just want the pure damage, go with this tree. All right, so with Isong, uh, I think he pairs well with a lot of commanders. And if you did enjoy the video, I have a bunch of other commander videos for archers, all linked in the playlist that's going to pop up on the end screen. So if you did enjoy, please do drop a like and subscribe and check out the rest of the videos. Because I'm telling you, you're going to get a lot of value from them.